What's going on you guys back again with another video today we're going to be working on my buddy Adrian's car you guys have seen this one before the 5.0 it's a 2017 GT today we're going to be working on a GT or installing a GT350 manifold underneath the hood it's my first time doing it so I'm going to be following master mechanic himself Matt on this he's done it several times done to his own car so uh all right you guys so just so you guys do know this car is a headers car so it's pretty much full bolt on it's going to be full bolt on at this yeah. point right Adrian, yeah, full bolt on and E85 uh -huh. with Lentune. So far, we got the stock air intake box out. We got the strut loose, and uh, we're just gonna continue to start removing some of all this fucking hoses and wiring and fuel rails. And so we'll go ahead and show you guys that. All right, guys. So I got distracted over here putting a handlebar extension on my quad. Uh, meanwhile, Matt's been going hard at it over there. So far, he's got the fuel rail off. They're working on installing the new uh, injectors. What else you got going on right now, Matt? Uh, this is all the fuel system basically done, so now we're going to move on. To okay, the so now you actually got to remove the actual manifold. Cool. I'm finishing up here, you guys. Just giving a quick little, it's like a one-inch extension for the handlebars. These are brand new handlebars on my quad. Uh, when I went to go, and when I used to go to turn, they would hit my fender on the quad. So now we should be all right. But I'm just doing this so quick on the side. We'll pick it back up with the manifold as soon as they're done installing the new injectors on the fuel rail. Alright, you guys, so quick little update on the manifold. I guess, unlike the GT350 manifold, um, where it's all plug and play, on this new GT or 2018 GT manifold, there's some wires that need to be soldered. So, uh, with that being said, Matt went home, Master McKenna himself went home and got. Uh, some soldering tools as you can see if you've seen my previous video this is actually my garage and my new house so uh, needless to say there's still stuff everywhere that needs to be put away I just got that toolbox so there's still tools that I need to get so I don't have quite everything yet so he went to go pick that up but meanwhile while that's getting done this morning I actually went and dropped off my Toyota Tacoma which if you guys saw my previous videos you my previous video you guys would know that now I have a 2018 Toyota Tacoma off-road 4x4 in cement color as our new daily driver. I took yeah. it this morning to go get it tinted. They just gave me a call and told me that the truck is ready for a pickup. So I figured I'd bring you guys along to check out what the truck looks like now with the windows tinted. So excited. I can't wait to see it. Keep in mind, I've only had this truck for like a week or less. I just had to do it. That fishbowl look is not for me. Let's go get it. Haven't seen it yet. Zombies new wrap. Sick. Damn, look at that shit. I decided to go fucking all out and get the 5% all around. I figured that's what I have on the Mustang, so why not get it on the Tacoma as well? So I did 5% all around and I did that front strip up top. So looks good. Big difference. Huge shout out, Fresh Window Tint. Been going to these guys since day one. They have several, several different um, locations for everybody. So there, anybody who wants a, you know, some really, really good tint, don't hesitate to hit these guys up. Anyways, we're about to take her home. Check it out some more when we're home. So sick, it looks so sick. There she is, 5% all around. Windows tinted, now let's go pick up, see what's going on over here. Manifold. So where you at right now, man? Soldering. Oh, fuck. So that's for the new manifold plug to go into the old plug? Yeah. Or is it, are you just adding on a plug? Huh? You're just adding on a plug, No, right? I'm, I'm extending. Oh, the you're extending. The bracket and everything's different from the, from the 17 to 18. Okay.
Oh. So we got our fuel rail already ready to go? Yeah. Where is the new fuel rail? On the box. Oh, okay. That's new injectors. What, what injectors do you go with? 47 pound. 47 pound? Yeah. You said Bosch? Dynamics. Oh, Dynamics. Oh, Dynamics. Shit. Keep it up. There we go, there we go, there we go. Keep it right there. No, don't get it. You're getting that thing close to me, man. Okay, there goes that one. That one's on there. See, I told you. Shit. <laughs> Car beats. Alright, guys, so we got one plug all soldered up and ready to go. It's basically just an extension and replacing the OEM plug, which does not fit on the new uh, 18 GT manifold. So now we got one more to go. Solder this one up to the other side, and we should be ready to install it all up and tune uh, up, upload the tune. All right, you guys. So we got all our soldering done. Matt went ahead and wrapped all the wiring up, the extended plugs. So now we're getting ready to set the manifold back in place. Go ahead. Yeah, I plugged all, all the injectors in. Oh, okay. Alright guys, so the manifold is officially on. We went ahead, put the foam back on over the injectors, got all of our hoses back in place, got all of our nuts in place. We went ahead and reconnected our injectors to each of its plug. And now we're just going to go ahead and start hitting up all this piping, all the plugs, all the hose pipes, and uh, the new intakes. All right, you guys, so they're currently working on installing the intake right there. You went with what, p mass, right? Yeah, schools in the hole. Went with p mass, so they got that going on. Currently loading up the tune as well. I unfortunately have to take off to work. So as far as the video, that's pretty much it. I believe they're going to go out and do some runs, so maybe I'll have Georgie take the camera, or if he goes, and maybe show you guys some of that. But if not, that's pretty much it, you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. Alright guys, so I'm picking it up for Geek It right now, and this is where we're at. Fucking PMOS, fucking screws crooked as fuck over here so the bolt doesn't go in. Studs are breaking, so we gotta use fucking zip ties to <laughs> set this bitch up. Just so this fool over here could fucking drive home. Fucking sorry, I should've gone with JLT. Fuck. Some Mickey Mouse shit right here. So when you buy P mask, this is what you gotta do. This is the true Mickey Mouse. Nah, bro, this is how it came like in the instructions. It even came with that roll of tape. Yeah. That's what the P stands for. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What's the... what does the P stand for? Yeah, I don't know. Piece of shit. It's actually, <laughs> Piece of shit. It's actually Spanish. P mask. Can we lower your hood? Check out that job. Every bolt is broke. Every stud bent. Oh, what the fuck? Don't know what happened there, but we're just trying to get it. Yeah. <laughs> See that? See how the car's off? But the ladder stays on? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Send it. Sounds like he's gonna die.
Do we get it to Canton or what? Uh, Alright, so homie's having issue with this tune and I want to show you guys what I mean and you guys will be able to hear it as well. <laughs> And it's gonna die out. Yeah. So, that's not good. <laughs> 